Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're going to do some things a little different today. Clearly doing a voiceover. I'm going to go with my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And I'm going to be trying some new products that I haven't reached for in a while or don't usually use. We're going to be using lots of new brushes and we're just going to be doing things in kind of a, a different order and just seeing how it goes. So I'm tapping that in, kind of rubbing it, just making sure it's getting in my pores, especially in my T-zone. And I'm gonna go in and do my brows first. So we're gonna go with the NYX Tame and Frame Palmade. So I like this brush because it has an angled brush on one end and a spoolie on the other. I think this is actually a pretty good match for me. I just think palmades are a little harder to work with and I think the pencils make it a little easier to be more precise with, but I definitely do not hate this product. I think it's just a little fussier than my normal eyebrow pencil is. And we'll go with my NYX HD foundation or, you know, concealer, whatever. Usually I've already gone in with foundation and concealer, so my eyes have already been primed before I put anything on. So since we're doing eyes first, I'm going to go in with a little bit of concealer. And I'm going to go with my favorite Wet n Wild palettes. And I'm just going to go in with this cream shade and kind of set my eyelids. And just blending it all over, hiding those veins. And I'm going to go with this kind of taupey transition shade. Just put it right in the crease. And I'm going to go to that other palette and go in with this kind of brick red transition color. And I'm just going to kind of put it on the outer third of my eye and kind of up into that crease there. Shield wiper motions and little circles to just make sure everything's kind of blended. And I'm going to go with this darker maroon shade and really on that outer half and just kind of up into that crease. Just kind of add in those colors on top, just kind of deepening it. And I'm going to go with this gray shade, just really on that outer V, just to really deepen it up right there. Got a little too much product, so I'm going to go to my other eye first, just to kind of spread it. And then I'll come back to that eye. Blend, blend, blend. And I'm going to go back in with the maroon shade because I feel like it kind of got lost with that gray. And I really want the focus color to be maroon. And I'm going to go in with this shimmer color. Just go in with my finger. Sometimes you really got to pack the color on and go in twice. But these are great everyday shimmers, so. And I'm just going to take that same brush and just kind of blend those edges and make sure that it's not too harsh of a line. And I normally would have taken a makeup wipe or some micellar water on a cotton pad and just kind of wipe my eyes, but 
we're just uh we're just using our hands today and just really clean up that eye i'm gonna go in with this covergirl clean matte bb cream and my catrice lightning drops because this bb cream is way too dark on its own And I'm just going to go with my Eco Tool sponge and just blend it out. I do like this BB cream, but like I said, it is way too dark and I do have a considerable amount of the lightning drops in here. Covergirl doesn't have a uh, wide variety of fair tones, so if you have fair skin, Covergirl's probably not your best bet, but you can always lighten it. And I think this is what I like least about doing my brows first, is that I feel like I really have to like be more careful and work around them versus just slapping my foundation on. And I'm going to go in with one of my Amazon brushes in that same foundation and just go around my brows. I did like the coverage I was getting with this brush, but I do feel like it was hard for me to get a really seamless cover. I know some people use concealer for this step, which to me doesn't make any sense because you already have foundation on your face. So now I'm just going to try to kind of smooth back over that with my Eco Tool sponge, especially in between my eyebrows. So I'm going to go back in with that NYX HD concealer, and especially for right under my eyes, it is a little bit too dark. I'm just gonna cover my blemishes and around my nose where I get the hyperpigmentation. So I'm gonna go in with my NYX HD concealer in that lavender shade, and that really, really helps lighten this concealer. Back in with my Amazon brush. One, two, I've never applied concealer under my eyes with a brush, and I actually did not hate doing it like this. Again, I feel like it was more textured, but smoothing it out with a sponge I think really helps. Um, but I do definitely like the coverage that I was getting with this brush, and I felt like I could get pretty close to my eye. And I definitely liked it for my nose because I felt like I could really get in that crevice there and really cover all that hyperpigmentation. And then we just smooth her out. Yep, definitely just jab myself right in the eyeball. And just going over these blemishes. 
moving all that concealer out. So, so far, so good. This look. I'm going with my Fit Me powder and my big giant Walmart powder brush. I feel like I've kind of re-fallen back in love with this brush. She's great for all of her face powder. And I can still get pretty close to my under eyes and still deposit a good amount of product on your face. And I feel like it doesn't lift any of the products off. I'm gonna go with my Makeup Revolution bronzer, and this is a Sigma brush from the Latela brush set to do a fiber brush. And I feel like it's because this bronzer is still new, but I had to dip into this several, several, several times to get actual pigmentation out of it. And I usually use an angled kabuki for this, but I actually really like this do a fiber brush. I feel like it diffused the color really well, where I didn't feel like I had any like big harsh lines anywhere. And just around my face and under my jawline. Did feel like my color was still pretty dark, so I'm gonna go with my Stargazer powder and a Kabuki brush from Morphe. And I'm just kind of cleaning up that bronzer a little bit and then just kind of focusing on the center of my face um, just to kind of lighten it back up. One, two, three, four. And just taking my big fluffy brush and just making sure everything is blended. Just taking that same Duo Fiber brush with my e.l.f. blush. And I'm still not super in love with this blush. I feel like I have to dip into it a hundred times just to get pigmentation. Once it's actually on my face, I feel like it looks nice, but it is rather annoying to have to keep going back in and back in. And I'm gonna go with my tried and true J-Cat Beauty highlighter. And this is another Sigma brush from the Latela brush set. And I actually really liked putting my highlighter on with this brush. I was very, very surprised. I usually just use my finger because I feel like brushes waste the product. But this was great. I feel like it deposited it well. I didn't have to keep dipping in 5,000 times. And it looked really, really nice and seamless. So I'm probably going to uh, start incorporating this into my everyday use. Now I'm just going to go in with one of those Amazon brushes and just do the corner of my eyes and right under my eyebrows. I definitely like the way the Sigma brush deposited the highlighter better, but and I'm gonna do my Wet n Wild setting spray that I just got, and I love the scent, and so does Baxter, apparently. And I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline Full and Soft Mascara. Still not in love with this. I've tried it a couple times. It's their waterproof version. <sighs> I just feel like I have to continually dip back in the tube, and my Essence Slash Princess is way, 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 way better and I only have to use one coat of her so I'm not really feeling this mascara and I'm gonna go in with this mega slim on my bottom lash line do not usually use 
a different mascara on my bottom lashes, but figured, hey, try it out. And I'm gonna go in with this Essence Lip Liner. I love this color. It's super natural and it's actually pretty close to my normal nip. <laughs> lip color. Lord Jesus. Um, yeah, when it's not covered in foundation, so. I'm actually gonna have to buy a pencil sharpener though, because I do not own one. I'm gonna go in with the Burt's Bees lip oil over top of this just to kind of give it a little more shine and sheen. And that is my look. So I'm gonna be extra ridiculous and uh, do my glam shots like other influencers do, you know, trying it out, seeing what you guys think. So. Please make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel and make sure you put all your positive comments in the world down below and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload and leave your negative comments at home. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.